Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Nolan or the Optimistic Gamer here and welcome back to Crafted Chaos. Today we are going to be doing some building. I would like to build a more permanent house and one that is a little bit more aesthetically pleasing because this mismatched mess is kind of an eyesore, I'm not gonna lie, so it would be nice to graduate to something a little more clean and tidy and something that we could decorate with all of our interiors because we have a few different furniture mods in the pack as well. I'm thinking we will build it right here close to the nether portal since we don't really have many options in either of these directions. So let me gather some resources and we will get to work on some terraforming so we can have a nice level surface for our house. Now I would like to set out in search of some more tree variants, whether we just get vanilla trees or some different trees from Biomes of Plenty or anything like that. I'm not super satisfied with our pink and red options. It would be nice to have a little more neutral tones in this house, so hopefully we can find something closer to gray. I think that would be very nice. And this is all of the dirt we have for now, but I think we will make do. It's not gonna be anything like our house from the Optimistic Survival series. I'm kind of going for a little bit of a different aesthetic on this world, so we're not gonna have any buildings that really look like that, that sort of traditional Minecraft medieval look to it. We're not really going to have that here as much. I have also set up a second lava dripstone. We are going to see about making a heat generator that we can put next to our digital miner right here and hopefully that will run a little more efficiently. Well I just killed a bunch of pigs but I discovered these baked potatoes in the furnace so we are going to roll with those and I think we'll go ahead and bring a bed. I think we'll be okay with that. And then we will embark on this wood chopping journey. Let me grab a backpack as well. And I should probably bring an extra ax or two because we will be doing quite a bit of chopping while we are out. We'll just go ahead and make a diamond ax as diamonds are very accessible to us now with the digital miner. So with all of these resources and a few extras that we can put into here, we are good to head out and we are going to avoid the ocean for obvious reasons. Of course, if you remember one of those earlier episodes with the Skellawags, I don't know what else exists out in the depths of the sea. So we are just going to keep our distance from that and explore by foot. Plus, there's not really any trees out in the middle of the ocean anyway. So if we open up our map here, we can actually see our unexplored regions. It may not hurt to bring a boat, but if we head up in this direction, so this is all redwood forest up here. We actually have a village all the way up in this direction. I suppose we could check that out if we wanted to, but all of these biomes are looking pretty similar in terms of the trees. So it may not hurt to actually come back down here to the world spawn where we have some cherry leaves, we have jungle right here, and just a lot more variance in the trees that we have. And we have some other magnolia trees, which we of course have up here as well. So I think our goal is just gonna be get 10 to 20 different saplings. We could explore this large region right in here, and we will just see what we come away with. And we actually have a few more sheep right here. We also have huge clovers. Interesting, I guess we can just break those. I'm gonna set a waypoint for these sheep, oops. Right here, we have some pigs, but of course we don't really need those. And we will come back for these sheep later on, nice and close to us, very convenient. We have a very large cave right here that we will also have to maybe come back to at some point, but we have found plenty of those already. And what do we have right up here? Is this some kind of volcano? It looks like it is, looking at the map. 
and we are in a highland biome and that oh wow we have to be careful this is a open volcano hopefully it doesn't erupt i don't think that is a thing but we have to be okay we've already had a bad experience with lava we are not going to risk walking across this we're just gonna safely go around it here we go this looks safe there we are all right so now i believe we are getting into some unexplored territory yes we are of course it still looks like the same biomes we have been coming across but hopefully we will find something new before too long we have a few bamboo logs right here we could maybe use those to our advantage i'll grab some normal bamboo as well i don't remember if we have that already but we can get that growing and have bamboo wood we have some normal oak trees right up here and remnants of a village. Ah, here is the rest of it. All right, so quick update on the wood. Ooh, actually, hang on. Do we have whatever wood this is? Hang on a minute. Willow, do we have willow? I don't know that we have willow. I am a fan. We are gonna get a lot of those, although I didn't get any new recipes, so we probably already have it, but I will get more because I really like that wood, that nice gray scale. Update on the wood though, here is what I have found, lots of different saplings, a few vanilla saplings and wood types. I found some mangrove wood, but I did not find any propagules, so I don't think we're going to be able to grow that, but I wasn't really planning on, we already have that wood. I wasn't planning on using any of that in our house. I was mostly after woods like this that are a little more pale. I did, however, come across palm and I am very excited about this. It has a very warm and cozy look to it for those planks. So we will be using a lot of that. I will plant some more palm trees once we get back to our house. But I have just kind of explored this entire region, found a large volcano, a nice desert right in there, and a couple of villages. I even found a pillager outpost right down here. I left a waypoint there. But I think with the wood that we have, we will be good to start on our house. So I'm going to head back north to our house and we will get to work. All right, let's get to work. So I'm thinking we will follow a similar pattern to this, but the colors will be a lot more appealing. So let's go ahead and place down this backpack. And let me just throw all of our wood in here and then I will put the extra stuff. We'll get some of these palm saplings planted right over here. And then I will put all of these extra saplings and other items into our storage system and we may need some glass let me see how much we have yeah we only have two blocks so let's grab some sand and put this into our furnace i think we will go with willow logs wait did we use willow over here i think that is willow wood actually yes it is and i kind of like that for an exterior so i think we will go with that for the outer walls. We can go ahead and turn all of that into planks. For the floor inside, definitely that palm wood. Love the look of this, that very warm texture. And I guess we can just start placing down our floor. I think I'm gonna move that nether portal, so I'll go ahead and destroy this. Never mind, I don't have that kind of time right now, so. We will just build around it and we can always expand our house if we need to. So we'll do something about like this. This puts us at 11 by 15 across the front. Of course, I don't really know where the front is. That is TBD, I guess. And the walls, we will do a base with a stone layer. So let me grab some cobblestone or maybe deep slate that might give great contrast with our grayish willow planks and i think we have a chisel as well perfect we will grab this chisel 
and pick out a nice pattern that we want for our base layer. So we have we have the traditional tiles right there. We could also go with something like this, which is a little bit more random, the squares. There's not really any great brick. Maybe if we make polish deep slate and put that in, no, we get the same results. So what if we have that connected? Eh, not a huge fan of that. I think we'll go with this, the pulverized cobbled deep slate, and we will have connected textures on for that. And this will be our base layer going all the way around our house. Perfect, I am liking this. Let me put some dirt right in here. There we go. And now the pillars on the sides. Well, I'm thinking maybe we will extend this up by one more and just have that go around across the bottom one more time. I think that will be okay. There we go. Let's see how this contrasts with our willow plank walls. I like it. I think that works very well. Now we have two options. We could do the pulverized cobbled deep slate right here on the corners, or we could find a wood and either have its original log form or strip it down to its stripped form. Let me see about this vexing arch wood. Of course, it might be too many colors happening at once, but we will just give this a shot and see what we get. It might work out. It's a little purple, and I don't think that's really gonna work. That is not what we want. Okay, never mind. I think we will stick with the pulverized cobble deep slate for now. Again, we can always switch this later on. And I didn't even think to look if we can chisel this wood. Not the willow planks and not the palm. Okay. I'm glad we can't because I most certainly would have done a different pattern and then I would have had to tear all of our walls down and rebuild them. But there we go. There's the interior and already it is looking better than anything that we have built up till this point in my opinion. And we have some palm trees that have finished. I'll go ahead and chop those down. We will need that wood for the second floor. Perfect. Grab that off of the hillside and we'll just let the rain come down. We'll get back to work over there and plant a couple more of these palm trees. Actually, what I might do is just plant these here on the hillside and make our clover plains a little more tropical. We just want to be careful not to have it too close to the lava, I just realized, because that will catch on fire and we definitely don't want that fire to spread. So on second thought, yeah, I think we might be okay with this one. We'll keep a close eye on that. We would not want that kind of disaster to happen. So still deciding on how I want the front porch to look, but I am very happy with this look right here of those walls. So now we can work on the interiors a little bit, and for that, I think we will go with... We will go with acacia logs, partially because I have a lot of them, partially because I like that gray look of the bark. This will be our interior walls, the base layer for them, and then we will put maybe some white wool or some other light gray color on top of these. So right up here, I think we will have our bedroom. Next to it, a small bathroom. And will that be big enough? Three by three, I think it will. Right back here, we could have a closet. This could be our kitchen. So a door into our bathroom right there. A kitchen sort of right here, maybe a nice dining room right over here. We could extend that in like that. And then right here in the front, we will have our living room and our staircase up to the second floor as well. Okay, so now the grayscale block on top of that. I know we are very short on white wool because we needed a lot of that in our last episode. Yeah, we only have one. 
If I could get some more quarried stone, that would look very nice. Other blocks, well, we don't really have anything else that would work. Of course, I could also continue our pattern of willow planks on the inside if that doesn't get to be too much. I think that will be just fine. But we are out of willow planks now, so I could either go down that way and chop down some more, or we could just start growing some of our own willow trees. Now these trees can get very large, so we will move far away to plant these. Let's see what our wandering trader has to offer. I don't think anything of value to us right now. So we can start to carve out our windows, and we will just do this based off of the interior walls. It won't be totally symmetrical from the outside, but that's okay. It gives our house a little bit more personality. We'll have a couple nice windows here in the bedroom, and a tall window over here in the bathroom, and just a couple single wide windows for the dining room. There we go, and then we should have a little bit more wood to hopefully get close to finishing these interior walls. And we are one short. That's okay, we have our willow trees over here on the hillside planted, so as soon as those are done, we will get those into place. Let's find some nice looking glass that we can use for the windows. And I forgot, we don't have many options when it comes to the chisel. So let's look up pane and see what our other options are. Right down here from the chipped mod, well, how do we make these? Ah, glass blower workbench. And that is fairly cheap. I don't know if we have any bricks though. We do not have any bricks, so I don't think we will be able to make this. We will stick with normal glass for now. And like many things with this house, probably change them later on. And I just picked up a willow plank, which means we can go ahead and fill that in. And we do have the perfect amount. Excellent. And then we will also make some stairs, or can we not? We may just have to stick with those blocks underneath the glass, but that's okay. That doesn't look all that bad. And we need a front door as well. So let's look at our different options for those. If we head over to our crafting table, how does the palm door look? You know, I kind of like that. It'll match our floor. Let's go with this and we will place that down from the inside. Yeah, I like that. We can use these for our interior doors as well. We'll get one there. We'll get one on the bathroom soon enough. Now, I am debating whether I want to do four block tall ceilings or three block tall. Our scale would be better if it was three block tall, but it can feel very crammed. I think for the first floor, I will do a four block tall ceiling and we will have a staircase sort of going up in this direction. And then our ceiling slash second floor right here, again, made with those pine planks. And we might even get a little stylish with it and have a nice opening right here in the middle of the floor. Maybe something like this. And then we can put a railing around and then section off our rooms over there and a couple more up there. So let's do that now. We'll get these leaves out of the way. And I guess we can just continue this pattern with the pulverized cobbled deep slate for now and then experiment with a few more details and designs later on. But I just want to get the bulk of the house finished so that next episode we can spend time on the interior. So once we come up these stairs, I think we will leave this space open and we can have it be an office or something like that. And then right here, we could have a bathroom just like this connected to a bedroom. And I think we will put that right here. And then we can have a second bedroom over here in this corner and a second bathroom that extends 
as well. Actually, we may... Well, if we have that full wall like this, I think we could section it off so we had bedroom right here. And then bathroom right here. A nice large bathroom in the front. Another nice, fairly large bathroom right here. We can get rid of that corner. And everywhere else, we are good. So now it is just the waiting game for these willow trees. Of course, I could take some bone meal over there and speed up that process a little bit. But I did spy that one tree is already finished. We will get that chopped down. Wonderful. And just like that, that already takes care of most of the wood that we might need. Maybe, but we will just go ahead and bone meal the rest of these trees that I planted over here. And then we will have no shortage whatsoever. You know, I think we will stick with the four block tall ceilings on the second floor as well. I'm just thinking about overhead lights. If we have light bulbs and things like that, we don't want those to be dangling down from the ceiling and be hitting our head every time we walk into a room. So we'll stick with four block tall ceilings. It'll give us plenty of space to move around. And we can start filling in some of these windows around the second floor. I think we'll do a couple large windows here in the front. There we go, and all the windows are put in place. Let me fill in the glass panes and the interior walls. I should probably also put some torches down so we don't have any mobs spawning inside. That would not be a pleasant time. And now we just need to get a roof put onto it, so we will go with a... I think we'll do a deep slate brick outline, and for the roof itself, let's look in our backpack for our woods, what we could use. I'm thinking maybe a mangrove roof, but we definitely won't have enough, and we don't have a renewable source of that at the moment, so I think... I think we may just go with another palm roof. It'll match the inside, all of the doors, and I think that will look very nice. So let me get up here and we will start the outline for this. This is not going to be special by any means. I've definitely built much more extravagant roofs in the past, but it will get the job done to call this house complete. And I guess that's all that really matters right now, just that we have a functional place to go in every night and lay our head. So again, very basic for the outline, definitely very tall. Our house is definitely making a statement here on this little island, but we're going to need all of the spa space that we can get as we expand our domain. Plus, we will have a nice attic space as well. And there we go, there's the finished roof. Very happy with how it looks. I mean, <laughs> to an extent, of course, it is not my best work, but it will improve over time. But the color scheme, I am a lot happier with that much more grayscale, flat looking with the pop of color on the roof. It definitely needs some more detail on the walls going around, but it is a fantastic start for us. All that is left is just getting the ceiling put on the inside. I'm just going to use bottom half slabs for the ceiling so that we don't have any mobs spawning up in the attic, and then we don't have to worry about lighting it up and things like that. And then we should be able to call it complete for this episode. I might get a staircase put in. I could even do that right now or at least get it started. And next episode will be all about furnishing and decorating our house and really personalizing it. But we are all out of bone meal. So now I'm just kind of stuck waiting for more of these palm trees to grow. Or once the sun sets, I can go kill a few more skeletons. In the meantime, I guess I can fix this wall right down here since that looks a little bit off with our 
dirt patch under the house floating above this false ground. So we will fill that in. That looks a little bit better. So I have a few different furniture mods installed. We have Macaw's furniture, and then we also have Mr. Crayfish's furniture. We may have a couple other furniture mods. I'll have to sift through the mod pack list, but this will give us plenty of different items that we can furnish our house with, our kitchen, and other facets of this structure. And the sun has set, so I'm going to go look for some skeletons out here and get some bones. And it looks like we will need just a few more slabs. It is definitely very dark up here, but we got rid of all of those spawnable blocks, so that shouldn't be an issue with monsters. And we will get a few more torches placed down as well. Fix our staircase. And there is our sort of half finished house of course we also have to place our bed i was thinking originally that downstairs bedroom but we have a nice large room right up here that we can put our bed for now and that is where we will call it for today so i really hope you enjoyed today's episode of crafted chaos i know it was a little bit different pacing than what we have been working with recently but it is definitely nice to change it up a little bit. I see some of our palm trees along the shore are growing. I am a big fan of that. It's going to help make this whole area feel a little warmer and more tropical, which I am all for. But again, that's where we are going to end it for today. Next episode, we will be working on the interior of our house, getting that all decorated and making our house a home. But if you enjoyed today's episode, definitely hit that thumbs up button and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on content as soon as I publish it. Check the description for some more important information, links, how to contact me, all of that good stuff. And with all of that being said, comment, like, subscribe, remember to stay optimistic, and I'll see all of you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye!